and we even have some uh, tater tots here. So we're going to put all this stuff together because we're planning what we're eating. And so this is going to make at least four, if not maybe five servings. All right. And uh, if you plan ahead, plan to um, succeed. If you don't plan, you don't plan to succeed then, I guess. Right. So um, I forgot a couple tools. I forgot one tool out here. We actually two. We need the food chopper and the quick slice. Okay. We have our eggs. So I'm going to be doing nine eggs because I need to get rid of some eggs in my um, refrigerator. And then I have some peppers here, just sliced peppers. We're going to dice these up. And then we have some uh, fresh tomatoes, uh, the uh, what is these uh, hash browns, okay, little crown ones, and some red onion, okay. So we're gonna put this all together, and we're actually gonna cook it in the quick cooker. All right, the quick cooker is a pampered, pampered chef Instapot, and it is on sale for one fifty six seventy five this this um this this whole month, okay. So it's your turn to get it on sale, and if you want an even greater sale then reach out. I got another program that you can get another um, percentage off on it. So uh, let's come in. Like, my name is Alexis. I live here in Southeast coastal Georgia and I love coming live to teach you how to use your kitchen tools and equipment so you can make what I'm making at my house at your house, but you need the tools and the food to do that. Okay. Let me see. We're going to be using our, our fluted pan right here. Let me get some stuff off here. We're going to be using the fluted pan. Okay. So this fluted pan makes great little mini bunts. All right. Uh, but today we are doing, um, the, uh, our quiche in here. It's actually a, 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 a a frittata. It's actually a frittata or an omelet. It's any way how you put it. It's going to make it a beautiful presentation on this. And I need to get two more tools out. I need this. And I need this. All right. So let's get the show on the road. Let me know where you're coming in from. If you're watching on the replay, please put in hashtag replay so that we can say hello and then we, that you know that we know you saw it. All right. Let's put this over aside. Let's do this the peppers first. So this tool here slices and then dices. We got our peppers. They're already sliced a little pieces of them. I'm trying to get rid of all the stuff from this from this week. Okay. And you're just gonna put it in your quick slice. And this is great for like crudités, vegetable presentations, all right? Uh, they're, they're beautifully sliced into one quarter of an inch, all right? You, you can't even do this with a knife unless you're... And put it down the other way, all right? Just turn it the other way. And now we're gonna dice these babies up, okay? Just dice them right up. There we go. Look at that. quarter of an inch and it's actually on here on this mat it comes with different um uh cuts you have julienne fine julienne large dice medium dice and small dices okay so we're gonna get our rest of our peppers out i'm just gonna put the peppers back into the into the bowl so i have somewhere to put them okay so we're gonna do the next one let's do a green one put in here again you're just gonna go right straight down slice turn it and dice how quick is that now if you're doing pasta salad potato salad won't your um uh, salads look really good with these perfectly diced uh peppers in there yeah and this tool does it for you really really quick look at these split that you, you're like wow that was that was fast she diced all those up and she didn't have to like use a knife right because sometimes we're intimidated by a knife but or this is a lot quicker and we don't have to rely on saying, oh my God, it's not perfect dice on here. All right. So perfect dice is a quarter by a quarter inch. All right. Let's get the next one. Another red one here down and turn it around. Oh, one stuck in there. There we go. Turn it around. Uh, so this time next week, y'all, it is, it is, uh, July 9th. This time next week, Bryce will be home and we'll be act actually uh, going to uh, Disney, uh, Disneyland. Okay. Down, down in, I forget which one's which. We're going to Disney down in Orlando. Okay. We'll be there uh, or almost there getting to the hotel at this time. Um, or actually probably an hour away. All right. So we're going to get that. We'll pick up our we have our little uh, wristbands that we're going to pick up and then you can go to the parks with the wristbands. Okay. So that's going to be exciting. That's new within my house, but I'm trying to figure out, I need to take some snacks with me, probably some apples, something, some things that will not um, expire in a hot car. 
All right, so now we have one cup of perfectly diced peppers in here, okay? Uh, the next we're gonna do is our, our onions. Now this is this one here, we're gonna be using a, our food chopper for this one. Uh, I, don't, I don't really care, well, I do care. Well, let's just try this, do this with a knife. We'll do it with a knife. We're gonna slice it perfectly diced with a knife. Let's just get this right. Um, let's get the other mat out so that I can pick it up a lot easier. Oops, that fell out of the, let's put that, that back like a little puzzle there. All right, I'm going to slice it this way. I'm using a Santuco knife. I'm going to slice it one way, all right, so I can get a, about a quarter of an inch, and then we're going to go straight down. And it's not going to be the perfect one here, okay? But we'll get it there. All right, there. And then come back. Make sure your hand, your hand, um, you hold your knife with your thumb on one side and the other side. Don't be holding it like this. It's not All right, straight down. And try to keep it nice and even. I know this part is where I did not slice it all the way through. All right. One more. Ooh, these onions are strong. Yeah, so these are nicely diced, so they will look pretty, okay? Because you sort of want your, your veggies to look nice inside of your um, omelet. All right, so we got that one. So this one here, we're gonna put it back in our prep bowl. All right, and you can have all this stuff done. Like if you if you do this on like a, if you have a prep day, you can do this all, all together. It's about a third of a cup of, of red onions in there. All right, next we're gonna get our um, tomatoes and I'm gonna slice some of these with tomatoes and into a, uh, probably use my uh, tomato knife, all right? We only need to do four of these babies here right now, and then we'll do the rest later, okay? Yeah, let's do a few more. Let's do a few more. Might as well do them all. We could use a closing cut, but I'm, I only have a few here, so I'm just going to slice them straight down, okay? Here. We'll put a couple in there. I need four for the bottom part, and hopefully they're going to sit still. We'll see how that works. All right. All right, now slice them straight down. All right, got four more down there. All right, so tomatoes are already done. Next, we're going to get our mat back out, and we're going to chop up. Uh, let's wipe this up, too. All right, I'm going to come back in and read your comments in a second, okay? Just waiting for everybody to come in. All right, um, let me know what you're having for breakfast, what you're planning for breakfast. Now, we have these little uh, tater tots. Now, these are great in the air fryer. Just put them right in and they crisp right up like I think in like eight 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 minutes or so but I want to chop them up because I'm gonna put them into my omelet all right I'm gonna use my food chop uh, food chopper this one here is 30 years old it's, it's still available in the same design same everything and if you ever broke your um, uh, call, collar here this is a replaceable item and so is this all right so I'm gonna put this back together and I'll show you how this works. You go like this, and it actually turns. It's great for onions because it's no more tears for you. And I'm just going to chop these up. I'm gonna, hopefully, they're not chopping up because they're still frozen, Alexis. Well, that's not good. All right, so let's cut, use a knife. We're going to have to use a knife because they're still slightly frozen. I didn't get them out of, the, out of the refrigerator. But we could do onions on there. And look at that. Sometimes it just doesn't work, okay? <laughs> Because Alexis didn't get them out of the, out of the freezer in time. I was saying, oh, yeah, let's get the potatoes out, all right? So let's just put these in here. I don't want them in big chunks because who wants to have a big chunk of this in your omelet, okay? We want to sort of do them in small pieces, all right? There we go. And good morning, Terry. How are you doing? Wow, tater tots in the omelet. Yeah, tater tots in the omelet, y'all. Tater tots in the omelet. Isn't that, isn't that fun? I think my mom would probably like some of these for breakfast this morning, y'all. She doesn't, she doesn't like, uh, she doesn't like eggs and she doesn't like chickens. She grew up, um, uh, raising them and they ate them and she just, she just doesn't like it. So bad memories for chickens and eggs with my mom. So maybe I'll put a few out because I think that's going to be more than enough. All right. Yeah. I think we'll save some and put them, put them in the air fryer for my mom. All right. Yeah. We do a half a cup. Mm, about 11 um, tater tots are one serving, y'all. And I think I have 18 here. Ah. Let's see. And these are points on Weight Watchers, okay? Everything else is, is no points on my diet, okay? So we got two, four, six, eight, okay. Um, we'll get a little a couple more for my mom once we get this all together. 
Well, that tool didn't work for this because it wasn't, it was still frozen, y'all. No big deal. So next we're going to get our eggs and we're going to whisk our eggs together in a bowl. All right. And I have a lot of eggs here. So let's just go to town and break up our eggs. Well, yep. There we go. Best tool ever, says Gaylene. Uh, hello, Aiden. Hello, Gaylene. Hello, Terry. How are you doing? Uh, and Wayne Wiley is here this morning. Dirty bowl. So I can put my... Uh, eggshells in, okay? And yeah, these are the eggs from my brother's uh, chickens last week, okay? There we go. And some of them have that little dark spot. I don't like those dark spots in there. Let's see what I can get. Uh, I forget what they're called. There we go. We got it out. Okay. And I'm mixing fresh eggs and store eggs together. Here. Just get them all. <clears throat> I'm trying to get rid of them because I have like a lot of eggs in my refrigerator. I haven't been eating too many. And um, so I wanted to make this today. And then I'll be prepared. This this will hold me over for at least two, maybe three days, depending if I have this for long. I love this, the, doing this um, egg dish. It's one of my favorite ones to do. It comes out pretty and it's great for like a brunch presentation. Plus then it doesn't heat up your house because we're putting it in the quick cooker. Put those away. You know you can save your eggshells and dry them out and then put them in your blender and crush them up and it makes great um, uh, calcium deposit for your your veggies and stuff or for your plants. All right, so we have our eggs in here. We're going to just get a little uh, whipper and we're going to um, mix this up. Now you can add a little bit of milk in here if you like. Okay, that would be fine. Um, we should just put a splash in here. Maybe I'll put some almond milk in here. Let's put a little bit of almond milk, maybe about like uh, four tablespoons or a quarter of a cu quarter of a cup. Okay. Uh, yeah, a quarter of a cup. Two. 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 Definitely use unsweetened almond milk. All right. I'm just using the unsweetened almond milk here. I'm gonna pour some in. There we go. Just give it a little liquid. All right. All right, next, let's just mix this up. We can put our salt and pepper in here. I got one little piece of black in there. If you don't mix it up enough, then you're going to have white and yellow showing, okay? So just keep mixing it until all the yolks and um, whites are incorporated, okay? All right. Hello, Jason Wallace. How are you doing? All right. There we go. Uh, so we are broadcasting here on the app called Haps. I'm sharing it out to Facebook. I'm sharing it to my VIP page, my business page, and also to uh, Jennifer's party that's going on this week. Okay. And if you see any tools that you like, or if you like any Pampered Chef tools in your kitchen, please let us know, and then we can get them to your house. You can either order it online, um, you can save some money by hosting your own show, or better yet, become a Pampered Chef consultant and earn them, or get everything for a discount always. All right, so let's put some salt and pepper in here. Yeah, I'm going to put some salt and pepper in here. There. A little bit of pepper. Not too much, because it does give black specks in there. You can always add the pepper at the end, okay? Yeah. All right. Pretty good, right? All right. So we got our eggs all mixed up together. And now we're going to be putting it in our, our uh, fluted cake pan right here by Pampered Chef. And what I'm going to try and do is get some of these tomatoes and gently place them right here. And I'm hoping that when it's inverted, that these tomatoes will be on the other side. Okay. So that is my goal. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I've ever done this one before where I had to put the tomatoes strategically placed so that they look pretty when they're uh, turned over the other side. Okay, so we need eight of those. There we go. Let's see if we can put that in. These are our peppers that we um, diced up. All right, just gently put them in. All right, because I want to keep my tomatoes right where they are. There, and we're going to put some onions in. Onions are great. The purple is going to look really pretty on here. Okay. 
Yeah. You're going to leave some of the veggies out um, for later so that you can garnish it at the end. Okay. So don't. Our, um, our potatoes, which is the hash browns right in here. All right. And again, this, this tool can be used in the quick cooker. It can also be used in the air fryer and in your oven. Okay. So there's multi purposes. We like it when we can use our tools in multi um, cooking uh, surfaces. Okay. There we go. We got our potatoes right there. Let's put a little more peppers right on top. All right. We're going to add in some more tomatoes. Just we can plop, plop these in. Let's see if I can plop them in on the side. If they would show up at the other end when they're done. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's see there. And all right, that one more there. All right, I think we got them pretty good. Okay, let's get a couple in there. All right, we got them all. All right, and we got a couple for later too. All right, more peppers. Okay. All right, and more onions. All right, now if you want, you can add anything in here, anything that you like. Broccoli, I forgot to put the broccoli out. Well, we forgot broccoli today. All right, that would be really good. Um, bacon, sausage, uh, any of the uh, uh, patties, anything you want, you can put in here. But look how pretty and colorful this is. This is definitely very colorful. Hello, Heavenly Do. Oh my God, colorful food. Yeah, good morning, Missy Mouse. How are you doing? Uh, good morning, Heavenly Do. All right, so we got this, and we're going to add our eggs in here now. All right, just add, and you're going to gently add them in so that um, it doesn't me mess up the, the tomatoes at the bottom of here, okay? So just gently add in your scrambled eggs right here. This is just uh, whipped up eggs with a little bit of almond milk in here, okay? There we go. Oh, look at that. It's sitting pretty nice, although the ones on the side fell off. There we go. Just put it in. Oh my goodness. We're going to be, it's going to be a full one. So we use nine eggs on this one. Okay. Very, very pretty. All right. Next we're going to get a little bit more and I just need a couple more on top. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's going to be very oniony egg. Oh, let's get some of these potatoes in here too. Okay. And we're going to put this in the, in the quick cooker y'all. All right, and do it in the quick cooker. It's going to take eight minutes in the quick quick cooker by timing. Okay, and put a couple more. Oh, look at that! Isn't that beautiful? This is really pretty. All right, and it makes a great presentation if you're looking for something uh, to give your family, um, like on a brunch table, or if you want to take it to church. It comes out great. Uh, I just think it's a fabulous little little um, egg dish. All right. So let me uh, flip us around and say hello to everybody. If you were my neighbor, says, <laughs> you'd be over here. You'd be over here. All right. So hello, everybody. My name is Alexis. I'm your Pamper Chuck Consultant here in Southeast. make what I'm making at my uh, at your house uh, well what I'll make it at my house at your house. Now we have the uh, quick cooker here and the quick cooker is pot okay it's a pressure cooker all right and it is safe to use it is um i had at first i was like intimidated by it because one i did not get to see so it uh it has uh 16 different presets right here anywhere from sear to steam to slow cook which are, i'm probably going to use the slow cook today and make myself some veggie broth i'll come in and we'll do that again and then we're going to use uh it also has uh, proofing so if you want to proof bread and you don't want to leave it out on your countertop or you're too dry of an area or too wet of an area you can proof it in here it takes a half the time of setting it out on your counter okay because uh, it's a controlled environment with the temperature all right the next one is chicken and poultry beef and pork um fish and seafood stock and then we have white rice, brown rice, grains, beans, stews and chilies, and my favorite desserts, which I love desserts. Um, especially the, there is a pumpkin cheesecake type dessert in here, pumpkin cake with cheesecake in the middle of it. And you can also make um, cheesecake. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And key lime pie. All right, so uh, the lid comes off. Uh, make sure that you have the, the um, 
seal in here and that it is flush. That is one thing that sometimes it's a little off skew and they won't, it won't be able to come to pressure. This right here is the button that tells you when it comes to pressure. When it's come to pressure and it's up, you will not be able to remove the lid whatsoever. Make sure that the um, this is where the steam comes out and this is the button to like release the steam. And it needs to be flush. Like if, if it's a skew like this, it will not come to pressure. So make sure that the uh, steam, the little clouds are going the same direction and that it is flush, All right? On the inside, this is a, um, oh, let me see. It had, it's stainless steel. I have the little, this little thing comes with it, the little stand, and we're gonna put that right in. And I'm gonna add in one cup of water. Okay, that creates the steam to make it make the pressure. And all we're gonna do is put this nice little beautiful egg mixture right inside here, okay? Just like that, it's sitting beautifully. See that? It's sitting really nice and pretty. All right, and we're gonna close it now. Just close it. And we're gonna do custom for eight minutes. There we go. Custom, and we're gonna do time. And we're gonna go down to eight minutes. Now it's gonna take, and we're gonna do start. And this thing's gonna go around and around until it comes to pressure, and then it will count down. When it's done, it's going to beep at you and it'll be starting to count up. So just keep everything warm in there when it's counting up. All right. It will not cook it. It just keeps it warm until you're ready to open it up. Sometimes you need to manually re release it and sometimes you let it naturally release. Naturally release, you usually it's about 10 minutes. All right. So this one's going to be manual release and we're going to keep it in here for eight minutes. It's probably going to take at least four or five minutes to come to pressure. I'm not sure how long it comes to pressure. But in the meantime, we can say hello. Hey, how are you doing? If you, if you came in at this time, you missed everything. You're going to have to go back and watch the replay. All right. Uh, my name is Alexis. I'm your Pampered Chef Consultant, and I love coming in and teaching you new tips and tricks and tools and showing you how to use all this stuff. And this here is the Quick Cooker by Pampered Chef, and it is on sale this month for $156.75. Yeah, I'm going to turn this this way so we can see the time on it. All right. Uh, if you have any questions on it, please, please um, um, reach out. Uh, let me see. So I'm going to go back and read the comments right now. And uh, I, I think I got everybody's on here. We had Gaylene early this morning saying hello. Good morning, Wayne Wiley. Good morning, uh, Aiden from Leeds. How are you doing? Hey, Gaylene's here uh, in person. I've gotten my, to go get my ingredients for tomorrow. Tomorrow on Haps here, we are doing Chocolate Saturday starting at 8 a.m. East Coast time up until about 10 o'clock tomorrow night yeah nine o'clock is our last one each person gets about an hour to broadcast and uh i'll be sharing out on different platforms so make sure that you sign up for haps it's h-a-p-p-s it's an app that you download and uh get, get yourself signed up so you're ready to go for all the food food tomorrow okay good morning terry how are you doing it's 77 in northwest georgia and raining oh it's, it's beautiful here this morning i don't know what the temperature it is uh alexa what's the temperature outside right now it's 76 degrees fahrenheit so 76. Today, expect a high of 88 degrees. Oh, we're having a warm day of 88. Happy Friday, Alexis. Thank you. Alexa, what's the humidity outside? Now, this is where it's going to kill you. Right now, the humidity is 89%. 89%. That's pretty high, y'all. Okay. That's why my hair is like always frizzy when I come back from a walk. All right. All right. So Terry um, is uh, saying, wow, omelets in it, uh, tater tots in it. Yeah, just put it all in there, you know. Hey, Jason, thanks for coming in and spending a little bit of your morning with us. Hey, Missy Mouse, how are you doing, Missy Mouse? I sent Missy Mouse some um, recipes. Uh, yet, or I, she sent me a blueberry one. I'm thinking, dang, girl, I'm on Weight Watchers. I need to have a like low calorie stuff. And same with the chocolate. T tomorrow's all chocolate on half. So I'm like, oh, I was looking at the Pampered Chef recipes. I'm like, no, that's not going to help me on my weight loss journey. Okay. Because weight loss journey is all about planning and uh, figuring out what you're going to eat so that you're not eating everything under the sun. All right. And so Weight Watcher or wait, my, uh, uh, I skipped over Pampered Chef. I was like, heck no, that's all, that's all heavy cream and everything. I was like, no, I can't do that. But um, then I went to Weight Watchers and I was like, good grief. Everything's like three points, but it's like 18 servings. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be eating all 18 servings. No, we don't need that many points for us. So uh, then I was like, all right, a while back, I did a recipe that was just two ingredients. It was bananas and cocoa powder. We're doing that one. Okay. It's phenomenally easy and it is scrumptiously delicious. I love that word. All right. Good morning, Heavenly Dew. Uh, yes, we have colorful food here today. I would love to have some peach cobbler, says Wayne. So would my mother. 
She would eat that. I'm making uh, one this weekend. Are you really? Uh, why don't you broadcast it? I miss you placing it in in there, typing a message. Just heavenly do. It would be delicious. You us uh, us folks, us Georgia folks love our peaches. Yeah, peaches are available everywhere, even on the roadside. Oh, yummy. Okay, Terry, thank you so much for the for the um. What kind of award you give me? A yummy award. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. So all awards are very, greatly appreciated. Email on the replay. You can can give an award if you find value in my broadcast. Please do that. It supports it supports my cooking habit here, and it's, and it helps out with the cooking uh, this uh, food expense. Okay. May I use this for our brunch baby shower? You certainly may. Oh my gosh, Galing, this would be so good, and it's good cold too. I mean, you can serve it at room temperature, or you know. Uh, I wouldn't serve it ice cold, but room temperature is just fine. Perfect, perfect. Uh, so yeah, and uh, and it comes out and it holds its form, so you can slice it really pretty. Okay. Uh, let's see, Missy Mouse. Yeah, that was that one was not Weight Watcher friendly. Yeah, that one. You know, like girl. And then oh wait, I, when I went to Weight Watchers yesterday, they actually had a blueberry uh, recipe card. Let me see. So they have these nice little recipe cards with Weight Watchers here. This one looks really pretty. It looks like a Pampered Chef recipe, okay? So this one here is a barbecue chicken with corn and slaw salad. Then they have these hot dogs, all right? I'm like, okay. They just, they're very colorful hot dogs. Some of them have different things on them. Easy bean cheese top dog, uh, spicy banamai do style dogs, Chicago dogs, okay? And then they had sorrel. You know I don't drink alcohol. I don't know why I picked this one up. I was just picking up pieces of paper and I'm like, yeah. So, um, there we go. There we go. So, uh, we have that and then we had, they have wild blueberry hand pies. Look at this wild blueberry hand pies. All right. Now the recipe on this one, y'all, it, it uses homemade refrigerator crust. Okay. One seven ounce ounces of it has three cups of blueberries or defrosted unsweetened frozen wild blueberries, three tablespoons of sugar. This sounds exactly like the blueberries, um, uh, thing that we made earlier this week, cornstarch, grated lemon, uh, a zest, fresh lemon juice, and a pinch of salt. That's the, that's that sauce that we made earlier. Remember I cut it down? I know. Hold on a second. I'm going to go into my, into my, uh, private space right here into my office. Come to my office y'all. All right. Let me move this back. I wasn't expecting y'all to be here, but prior planning prevents poor performance, right? Here I am. All right. And our, we're, while we're cooking up that, we can go right here and oops, where am I? Uh, my channel. Okay. Uh, we are live. We are live with Memorex here. <laughs> there we go. We're coming after you. Well, that's going to stop that one. Oh, oh shoot. And that one. I did the wrong one. Oh, good. Uh, let's see. There we go. I got the mod. I'm a moderator. <laughs> Report. There we go. Harassing. Choose one. Me. Report. There we go. That's what we do with bullies. We just report them to the. We report them to the to the um the big. The big guys, you know, they have like, you know, um, social media, like reports the wrong things and blocks the wrong people. I don't get it. Uh, I gotta go in and, and this is press me report. Okay. Um, I'm just playing around with the YouTube, okay? Harassing and bullying. He, if I do this enough times, and if everybody does it, uh, uh, wait a minute, they're doing me, then we can get rid of this guy, this girl, okay? Who is inappropriate, unappropriate. It's inappropriate, right? All right, so let's say remove. And okay. All right. You reported them. Thank you, Jason. 
All right, so that's on on the um, YouTube channel there. So uh, thanks for going in and doing that. All right, uh, Jason, I appreciate it. All right, so let's put you back over here. I need a drink of water after all that. I'm getting a slight headache, y'all. <laughs> we don't need to do that, right? All right, so all right, so our our quick cooker. Look, after that time, it's it's coming to pressure because the button is up. This cannot open. It's still coming to the right temperature, and then this will this will. Um, This is a really quick recipe. So that's a blessing. All right, let's rinse this off. Hold on. Woo. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to get some cheese because we like cheese, right? All right, so we're going to uh, uh, shred up some cheese using the one of the um, Pepper Chef uh, microplane graters, okay? All right, let's get our cheese out. And, oh, one more thing. We were going to get, I'll leave this out until my mom comes out. Cause remember I told her, I told you we're going to do a little bit of, um, uh, of the, what are these things called? Crowns, the hash browns. We'll give them to my mom. Okay. So let's put that over there and I'll just put them in the air fryer. And I got a couple extra veggies left over and all we need is our, our cheese. So we can shred up some cheese. All right. All right, so we're going to be using this one here. This is the um, adjustable course grater, and it does come with a little little uh, sleeve to go over the grate so you don't hurt yourself. So keep this, okay? And uh, the, the easiest way to open this, when I first got this thing, I was mad at it because I couldn't figure out how to open the darn thing. But you put it in your left hand, get your right thumb, put it in the middle of this little circle right here, and you push in. And you see how that, it's like a lock. And now you can open it up. You can open it up flat. And go across something or you can open up like a triangle and then go down all right so we're going to be doing up a little bit of our cheese and i need one more mat out always looking for a mat it's down underneath down underneath there all right so got the cheese all right so let me know where you're coming in from and i'll give you a shout out all right if you're watching on the replay put in hashtag replay and let us know also where you're coming in from so we're going to do up a little bit of the cheese just shredding it up uh, about a good ounce or so. We're just going to put this on the top and make it look really pretty and um, give it a little bit of flavor. I'm using white cheddar cheese because um, cows don't have yellow um, or orange orange uh, milk and the white doesn't have any additives in it as the, as the orange one does. All right. So we're going to put just a little bit more cheese on here. All right, there we go. Because when it comes out, just add that in it. When you do your cheese, okay, make sure that it's cold. Do not keep your cheese out and then try to shred it. It's just it's just going to be next to impossible. And then it, it's, it's better to shred cheese when it's nice and cold. So keep it in your refrigerator up until the time you need to shred it, okay? This is stainless steel. It cleans out really, really good. Just hot water. That cheese will melt right off. Okay, one more down there. And we have seven minutes left on our timer there, all right? So we got our cheese done. All right. Uh, okay. All right. We're going to get a plate. I think this plate will be fine. All right. We're getting all of our mise en place. Mise en place is a French word uh, meeting everything in its place. Everything in its place. What about a yellow cow? I don't think there's yellow cows. Is there a yellow cow? There's no yellow cows. Something white milk comes out. Like chocolate milk does not come out of the cow, y'all. Just FYI. Just telling you, okay? They have to add the chocolate to the milk. It doesn't come out of, out of black cows or dark cows. <laughs> remember, when your, remember when your mom told you about that? It's like chocolate milk. <laughs> All right, so yeah. So I was a little strange back in my day, okay? Just joking, says, says Missy Mouse. You should have said a different color. I hope you'll probably believe me. Like, like pink cow makes strawberry, strawberry milk. Remember when you used to have that strawberry quick stuff you put in your milk? I, I used to like that stuff. I like the strawberry one. One thing I didn't like putting in, in my milk was Ovaltine. I didn't like Ovaltine. It was like uh, the malted stuff. I didn't like that way back in the day. All right, we're down to five minutes. All right. So Pampered Chef, if you don't know, is a company that sells kitchen tools and products, and I sell it for them, okay? I'm an independent consultant for Pampered Chef for about over five years now. We loved chocolate quick as a kid. 
<laughs> we did, we did, we did. But never, it never really, um, uh, uh, it never, I, I still liked Hershey syrup in it uh, versus the quick. It, the quick was easy because you, well, you just powder, you put it in there and you're like, oh, let's have some chocolate milk, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, what we used to do when as a kids, so I tell you what. Now kids don't even drink it. I don't even think kids even drink milk anymore. And I'm not even sure if Bryce drinks milk. I never force milk on him because I, I have an aversion to, to milk. I just think it's, I, it, it's not that it tastes bad. I just can't, like, I just don't like it. Like, it's just, yeah, I just, like, I'll use it in ingredients. I know I need to use it. And the other, um, yesterday, the Weight Watcher instructor was like, she had to go out and get the small little um, container of milk. And her Publix, or our Publix doesn't, uh, only uh, gets so many of them. And it's always sold out. And um, uh, so anyway, I was thinking she should have used almond milk because you can do syrup. Was, yeah, syrup is your favorite. And Tang, Tang was great. Tang was the, Tang was the drink they, they um, sent to the, to the with the um, astronauts on the moon. Um, but anyway, she was said she needed a milk, and then she threw out the rest of it. And uh, I get I get it because my mom we get the small one, and sometimes it goes bad before we use it. It's like it's in there for like two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks, and you're like, okay, I think we got to chuck the milk there. So the almond milk what lasts a lot longer. So when it's on sale, buy your almond milk, and you can sit on your in your cabinet and we you, you run out of milk just put the almond milk in there it works the same way it works the same way it's great all right for man I'm, I'm, I'm pushing time here all right so what else um can i tell you about the quick cooker the quick cooker is one of my favorite tools because you know what it is not hot whatsoever it's a little warm but it's not heating up my kitchen you can make some great uh, meals in there i do not drink i do not drink milk only almond milk there you go well, my mom's the one that likes the milk. She'll, she'll drink milk. She'll buy chocolate milk. I'm like, I don't, it, it gives, gives, it gives me a stomach ache just thinking of chocolate milk. I, I don't have an allergy or lactose intolerant. I just never liked it. And I didn't like it after my, my aunt, I told you about the story where my aunt, uh, I was a little kid and we spent a week at my aunt's house and, um, she, uh, puts, uh, Cheerios and milk and she was and eat this before uh, going to church and uh, I was like nope I we didn't we, did, we didn't eat cereal with milk in it at our house and um, she said okay you'll get it back when you come back from mass so came back from mass put it in front of me I was like oh my god that was so nasty that was even worse lactose milk has a lot lasts a lot longer in refrigerator there you go, lactose uh, milk there you go I would make it with chocolate syrup and leave out the milk <laughs> I'm with George. I'm with George. George, just give him the Jersey syrup. I still do it, y'all. Okay. Confessions of a foodaholic. <laughs> All right. So we're, we're cooking. We're using the, the quick cooker today, and it does come with its own cookbook, y'all. All right. If you're watching this program and you want this quick cooker cookbook, an ebook, reach out to me. I'll, I'll mail it to you or message it to you. Don't put it in here saying send it to me because then I have to remember after the end. And they're like, just send me a message saying, hey, I want the Quick Cooker ebook. All right. Just send a message. The link is in the profile. Let me put it right here so that those people can find it. There you go. You can go into that link tree, scroll to the bottom, also the bottom, and it says send Alexis a message, and you can get this e-cookbook. E uh, some of the awesome things that I've made in here, we've made the eggs, simple, easy, and easy to peel eggs. This chicken salsa, highly recommend it. If you, um, you can do any type of salsa with it, as long as it's one cup of salsa in there. Or you can change it out and do marinara sauce in there and have chicken marinara, okay? Uh, then you have, um, it tells you about grains and rices and how, how long. It also has the veggies on here. Oh, man, we have cabbage. I got cabbage to use up too. Uh, we got uh, meat and poultry. So it gives you all the timing on here, all right? Uh, some of the stuff has round, brown rice pilaf. It has this multi-grain. This is where you proof the bread in the quick cooker. It doesn't cook it there. You have to put it in your oven, okay? Uh, chicken teriyaki rice. Uh, this one here is my fave. Uh, it's a chicken parmesan. Really so simple to eat, uh, to make. When This is something like if you are running late and you forgot to take out the chicken, you can put it in, in the quick cooker frozen. Go about your business and it'll be done um, in a, like in under an hour. It's only here. Okay, so it's beeping at us. Oh, we did the ribs last week, I think, in here. Awesome. They were so good. And then we, they, we, char we uh, grilled them underneath the broiler. And my favorite thing of, okay, I got to make this red lentil and spinach soup here. All right, I got to make that. And my favorite, the cheesecake. 
cheesecake. The only thing is I add in one cup of sour cream and I usually do one and a half um, um, portions of the crust because I like a, a thick crust. All right. So this is for anybody that wants it. You can reach out to me at any time, even on the replay. All right. So this here has um, beeped at us. All right. It's beeped. It's gone down to zero right now. Sealed. We're going to turn it the other way because I don't want it to go on my countertops, okay, or on my walls. There we go. Let's put you in the center there. Button this up right on top. You just push this button and the steam will go away. Steam is going out, all right? And look, I'm right near it. Just don't touch the steam, you'll burn yourself, okay? All right. We are going to need a trivet to put the fluted pan on, and we're going to need our little, um, our buddy. I'm Mr. Left. No, I'm Miss Right. <laughs> we need to. We need to get it out. I'm going to do the right one here because I'm right-handed. All right. All right. So see, the button went down, and the pressure's gone, and now we can open it up. Now, the thing is, there's eggs in here, and I don't want that liquid underneath the, underneath the hood to go on my eggs. So I'm going to put it right into my sink. All right. Turn it. And oops. There we go. And it's actually a little bit wet on top, which is fine. We can get a, uh, a uh, towel. I'm going to put you down right here. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to flip this around because you see how, how that is right there? It Ooh, you're going for a ride. All right. And I got my trivet here because I don't want to melt my mat down there. All right. I'm going to put it on on my trivet. All right. Pick it up. And there is our egg done in eight minutes in the air fryer. Now, if it has a little liquid in here, you can get a little piece of paper towel. Let it absorb. Okay. It, it just has a little bit of trick all right you can get some of the moisture off and i do this with um the cheesecake also because i don't want all that moisture there's just a little bit of moisture on it the cheesecake you have to put a um, foil on it so it doesn't get wet okay it's pretty much done i got all the liquid out i think or went down the bottom. We need to let this cool off. It, it is looking really, really pretty here. Uh, we need to let it cool off for a few, few. Uh, yeah, a little bit of moisture there is on it. So this is a quick cooker. It's on sale for $156.75. Um, it doesn't come with the fluted cake pan, but you can get that. Um, I think it's like $27 or so for the fluted cake pan. There's a lot of accessories that come with the quick cooker, but the basic quick cooker is, um, on sale this month for 25% off. We do have a couple parties going on and I'll come back and, uh, let y'all know. We have the shared awards. We also have Jen's party this week and there's a several other parties that are still um, going on or starting up. Okay. So we have uh, red onions in here, green red and orange bell peppers tomatoes are in here and um i think oh and hash browns we put hash browns in here all right so let's pour that all right you're gonna flip it over you're just gonna put your plate on here and flip it right over when it cools down just a little bit. All right, it will pull away from the sides. I do have my um, cake tester and releaser here and I put a straw over it because this little one here is just too small. Plus then when I put the pink straw on top of it, I can see it really easy in my, um, in my drawer. Okay, so I'm gonna play around, let's see. When it, it cools down, it does release itself from the edges and it'll minutes. Okay. And then we can, yeah, look, it's, it's pull. I can see it pulling away right now. All right. What questions do you have regarding, um, the quick cooker or pampered chef or diets in general, this thing here, the only points I have to really, um, I do, I'm going to go back on the purple plan y'all. Cause I like the purple plant better than the green plant. Um, the is account for the uh, hash browns that are in here. All right, I have a lot of purple onions in here. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've ever done with purple onions. It's really looking very colorful. All right, uh, so let's see. 
it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. I'm, I'm a little impatient, I guess. So let's see if I can you know, move this out. This is a little stand that you can get in and out of your uh, quick cooker. Get I need to get the big, I don't know where my black plate is. All right, flip it over. This is where does it work it happens. Ah. Oh, it's not. Cools down. Alexis is just waiting a little bit too long. <laughs> too, too, I, I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm rushing my eggs and they need to cool down before it pops out. I want it to pop out, but it's not popping out, y'all. It will. It will. It's just too hot. The eggs need to shrink down just a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't rush anything when you're on a live rug. Hey, Terry, thanks for coming in. I see you're over. I'm going to cancel this off. Uh, cancel. There we go. All right. And let's see. Uh, Missy says, I always say a little prayer when I flip something like that. Come on, baby. <laughs> Dear God, please come out. But it's like super hot down here. Like you can't touch it. This here is cooling down. And again, the eggs just need to cool down just a little bit to flip it out. I didn't put any butter down on it. I don't think that's, I don't think I ever did that, the butter on it. It just needs time. It just needs time. Oops. Fox some. Fox some. I always say, yeah. yeah. Come on, baby. I say a prayer too. I'm telling you, please let it flip. Please let it come out. Please let it come out. <laughs> Especially live on camera. When you're by yourself, it's sort of okay. You're like, okay, I can go back and do something else. But when it's on live on camera, everybody's waiting for it to come out. And you can see it's pulling away right now. You can see it's shrinking. It's shrinking just a little bit and pulling away. Okay. You know, I probably drink some water and get a cup of, cup of coffee going before I start my day. I still have to go do my walk. You know, y'all, I did like um, yesterday. I didn't come live in the morning. And uh, I did enjoy going for a walk at 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay. It was a lot cooler. And I got it all done first first part of the day. Fix some coffee. Wait. Yeah, we're going to fix some coffee. Ah, we're doing Maxwell House. It's good to the last drop, y'all. Maxwell House. It's good to the last drop. It's the original roast. And I just... Um, I don't buy the Keurig cups. They're too expensive. Plus, then you're filling up landfills and everything. And I, I actually use um, the scoop from the um, Enrichables in my... In my thing. Here's the, this is the scoop that comes with the Enrichables. Reusing, doing another, you know, find reuses for stuff. All right, there we go. All right. Whew. I'll be coming back in on haps only, uh, probably after my walk, I think, maybe before it. Uh, I, got, I got some boxes to open. I got some boxes to open and I want to do it on half. So I want to show you what, what we got. Okay. All right. Got two boxes. I don't know if she is, has the creamer. I like, I didn't get my coffee yet. And now I'm at the, at my daughter's to babysit. <laughs> Oops. Looks like you might be having just plain coffee, right? Yeah, you can see it. It's cooling down. It's cooling down. Eggs actually hold their heat really for a long time. It's one of those things that my when I was working in catering at the convention center, they said they told me that eggs are really easy to hold. However, if you hold if you keep them in the hot box, they turn green on you. So those are overcooked eggs that turn green on you. I think one side's bigger than the other side. Like, see how how this one's down and this one's up. You can see it's getting a little cooler and it is pulling away. We just have to have a cup of coffee first. All right. <laughs> but it does come out. <coughs> We've done this before. I can't remember when we last did this one. It's been a while since. I thought, well, I need to get rid of a couple of eggs and I can keep this. I can have it for breakfast today. If I want some for lunch, I can do lunch and then I'll have breakfast ready tomorrow. So I don't have to cook breakfast because we'll be doing the chocolate at like, uh, I think I'm just going to. Uh, 
I just, ah, uh, cool down, cool down, cool down. <laughs> Alexis is having a fit with her eggs. From the edge right there, it was flush up against it. It is shrinking down on it. Can't really see it on the camera as much as I can see it off, off camera. All right, coffee's almost done. Yay, we're getting our coffee done. All right, so any big plans for the weekend? I don't know. Okay, we got the, I don't know. What is that? That is really beautiful, says Terry. Thank you. Okay, oops. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> it is really pretty. I do like that if we um, do it again, flip your egg or your uh, peppers to be right side up. Well, they won't because when it goes down, it looks really pretty when it's like this rather than the other side. I can't wait to eat this, y'all. This is like, oh, my mouth is watering. All right, coffee's done. All right, gotta change that out for my mom. All right. Cheers, everybody. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. No, it's just coffee in your cup. Oh, my gosh. This is so good, y'all. I can't wait to see it, too, Gaylene. Gay Gaylene, have you made this before? Oh my gosh, that is so good, y'all. This is so good. <sighs> yeah, I'm having a good day. I'm having a good. I'm gonna have a great day. I'm not sure about y'all, but I'm having a great day. I'm gonna have the best day ever. Yesterday was a was a phenomenal day. I felt like I won the lottery. I went to Weight Watchers. <clears throat> oh, at first I got my walk in. Went went to Weight Watchers. limits okay uh we're not still at my personal goal but we are under the weight watcher goal um then we went to the doctor's office he gave me a prescription that was only ten dollars and twenty cents the doctor's office was only five bucks so i'm like okay then i went to lunch i had a really nice lunch uh we had mixed greens with uh a cajun chicken or yeah that was is it cajun chicken uh blackened chicken we had blackened chicken And so I, I substituted tomatoes for it. That was great. I had great conversations there. I booked an uh, an in home party for August at the at the luncheon. And then I also stood up and said, "Hey, Pampered Chef is great for uh, fundraisers." So I got to get with the with the uh, president and my neighbor and say, "Hey, how can we make this fundraiser happen for for this ladies group?" And so we did that. Then I went and picked up my prescription and. We um, had a great conversation on HAPS here. So it was a great day all in all. And I made my mom corn on the cob. I went live in my parties. I'm like, man, we're doing good. All right, so it is cooling down. Let me see. Do you think we should flip this now? All right, so Junk Food Junkie says, good morning, Alexis. My surprise. Her best friend who is a PC consultant. We already know that. I am happy. the air fryer here on HAPS and how much it can do. Definitely, 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 JFJ. Congratulations. I thought you would already have that by now. It is the, I mean, you're going to use it to make toast. You're going to use it to heat up your leftovers, uh, make a lot. JFJ, that is so healthy. You got to, you, uh, let's go get the, let's go get the book. So JFJ is talking about the air fryer, okay? And this is another ebook that you can get also. So the air now, uh, all right, chicken wings, awesome, awesome, awesome chicken wings. All right, you you don't have to deep fry it; it comes out perfect. All right, French fries. Oh my gosh! And did you get the French fry? Um, uh, the rapid prep mandolin. You need that to make these French fries. Uh, coconut shrimp. This is really good. All right, and then use the uh, pineapple rum sauce. You don't have to make the apricot chili sauce because I didn't have apricot preserves. Um, just use the the, um, the the pineapple rum sauce or the raspberry habanero is great with the coconut shrimp. Comes out crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. All right. Uh, oh, this is what I've made this several times. This is the cod. Has a great vinaigrette, this herb lemony vinaigrette. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. We made the chicken parm, another great recipe. 
Oh, it's so good. All right. And then we made stromboli. I only made it once. It was perfect. It came out great. I overcooked it a little bit. So just be careful and definitely use um, uh, a parchment underneath it. Okay. Use parchment on this one. Uh, and then you can do the Peruvian chicken in there with using the, um, the rotisserie. All right. Comes out great. And ham pies. We've done that. Oh my gosh. You just have to go in into my VIP group and just put in, ha uh, put in air fryer and all the stuff that I did on those Oreos. Perfect. Oh my God. I'm so excited for you. Hello, Melanie. How are you doing? So yeah, I made everything except for the, um, except for the jerky. <laughs> We're not doing beef jerky in my house. No one's going to eat it. Oh, although Bryce did, he did like a jerky when he was playing golf, um, when he was like in freshman and junior, sophomore year, but then he, he got away from it. So, all right. I don't think it fell, Mel, um, Missy Mouse. It's still too hot to come out, y'all. We're, we're playing around with the eggs. It's looking beautiful inside here. <laughs> I may have to wait and then just um, come back, let it cool off, do my walk and come back and it'll, it'll come right out. I don't think I had to put oil on it, but you never know. I probably did. I didn't tell him I ordered it for, uh, I didn't tell him I ordered it from Pampered Chef. It's Congratulations, Melanie, on your 200th day. Uh, my husband put raspberry habanero sauce on the grocery list. <laughs> That's funny, Carol. That is so funny. I actually, uh, I need to order some more. I didn't put it on this order because when the new stuff comes out with Pampered Chef around the 20, um, the 20, no, after the 22nd, when is that? Uh, July. Uh, we're on the wrong, oh, I'm on two, yeah, it's 2001, July 21. All right. So around the end of the month, end of July, I have to do a, um, a supply order and I'll put some more raspberry habanero sauce on that. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, that looks good, Alexis. And very, it is very colorful. We're waiting for it to cool down so it can pop out. I don't remember it taking so long to cool down, but I guess it's not going to cool down on the plate. That's for sure. It needs air underneath it. So we got to put it back on its trivet there and keep it there. I think we're going to leave it like this and then I'll take pictures and I'll post it on my VIP page. I'll take a picture this way and uh, then we'll do it. Then uh, when it, when you flip it over, we're going to add the cheese right on top. Okay. And, uh, it sort of melts right on it. And it's still, it's still going to be really hot because it's still really hot down here. I can hold my fingers on there for a little bit and it is pulling away. It's just not, it needs to cool down. Okay. So just, uh, Gaylene, if you're uh, watching this and you're making it for your shower, put in time for it to cool down so you can flip it over. Okay. And it looks like you can probably put in a lot. Uh, I did nine eggs in here. You can probably do a dozen eggs. All right. I ordered one for my from on my party, but I should add one to Jenny's party too. There you go, because you know you can. It's 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 sitting on my shelves. Like I have the other sauces here. <laughs> I haven't opened them. The other sauces um, are the teriyaki and honey sauce. This goes great with chicken, and this is great with everything, y'all. It is nice and sweet, and this is one teriyaki sauce I like. I don't. I didn't like the one teriyaki sauce. I think in the, in the quick cooker, I didn't like that one. And then this one here is a spicy pineapple rum sauce. Great sauces. And when you buy five pantry items um, with Pampered Chef on any of the parties that I am doing, <clears throat> I'm going to throw in a rub for you. Okay. You let me know if you, if you want to put the six one down or just message me saying, hey, I want this one or, or surprise me. But this is my favorite herb, uh, or garlic and herb rub. But if you want... Buy five, you get one free. Okay. And let me see the other one. The raspberry is in my refrigerator. This is the one we're talking. Be really even good on cheesecake and ice cream, y'all. Especially that chocolate, that chocolate and ice cream that I make. It's great with that. One tablespoon is three points on Weight Watchers. Okay. Yep. All right. Put these back. Okay, so I'm going to let this cool down. I'm going to go for my walk and come back and hopefully, I okay, we got all that. How much Ellipsense did you end up getting? <clears throat> come back in a little bit. I'm going to do a box opening uh, on Haps here for my Ellipsense. It's going to be on my VIP page and on uh, Haps, all right? And I'm going to do a, uh, two box openings um, on there. So uh, if you're not on, on those platforms, please come over and join us, all right? Join my VIP group. 
it is going down. It's like shrinking. It's just really, really hot still. So I think you have to give it at least a good 20 minutes for this thing to cool off to in order to flip over. Otherwise, I think next time put butter at the bottom of it, it should slip right out then. But I don't I don't think I ever put butter in it. I don't remember ever putting butter or even oil on it, but who knows? Maybe I forgot. Anyway, it's looking pretty this way. All right, so I'm gonna leave you here because it is uh, 8.35 and we are at one hour. And uh, I appreciate everybody coming into the broadcast and spending a little bit of your morning with me. Facebook VIP group, okay? Have you ever made a salad dressing with, yes, I have Missy Mouse, perfect. It is absolutely phenomenal. The the raspberry habanero sauce, you just put a little bit of oil and vinegar in it and, and um, you know, make it like the consistency you like. And then, yes, it's perfect. Perfect. Uh, it will be delicious on top of your banana. Yeah, I've already done that, JFJ. We've already done that on top of the chocolate ice cream. We've, I already, I've, that's a done, that's already been done. Been there, been there. <laughs> yeah, definitely make, uh, and, and any of those, you can make, uh, I don't like vinegar and in, in stuff, y'all. I'm okay, but uh, just not a vinegar fan. All right. Slap your mama. Good, good. I bet. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Sounds yummy. All right. So it's, oh, it's still not coming because it would, it would flip. It's going to come out. It's coming out. It's just, it's still pretty darn hot at the bottom there. Okay. Yeah, I'm burning my fingers showing it too. Uh, but it is done. Just have to wait until it cools down. Okay. And again, you can eat this at room temperature. Uh, if it's if it's cold, you can put it in in your air fryer. And oh, I think it's coming. See it? See this lifting up? It's just really stuck at the bottom. There we go. Let's see about this. Uh, this is. I love this tool. It helps me out a lot. I use this thing for everything. Like if you ever have to push a little button and you like reset. All right. All right. So I'm going to leave you because I got other things to do. I got to go for my walk. To get in. We're getting into my walking time here and I'm going to let this cool down. I bet a tablespoon on my meatloaf. There you go. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. See all the uses we're having. If you find something, if you find a use for something that that I don't know about, please let me know. Say, oh my God, this would be great. But yeah, you can turn any of those sauces into um into a uh, dressing, into a salad dressing. Okay, we got all that. Look at that. Oh, let's put that one there. All right. Final picture. Thank you, Melanie Faye, for the um, Say Safe Award. I'm staying safe, okay? Uh, you could make many uh, of this recipe in the PC mini brownie pan. Yes, you can. You can put it in the brownie pans. You can put it in the donut um, uh, holes or the donut uh, rounds. You can put it in the mini fluted uh, pans. That's a great idea. You can put it in the, into the mini ones uh, rather than doing it. In the, but you have to cook it in the air fryer or in the um, in the oven. In the oven, you can even do it in the prep bowl. You can cut the, put these in the in here in the prep bowl and, and cook them up that way. But what we did is we put them in the fluted uh, cake pan, uh, so it's a nice ring. And this is about four or five servings on this one, uh, just to show the quick cooker. All right, and it doesn't heat up your house. So if you don't want to heat up your you know kitchen by turning on your stove, you can put this in and go away. And when it comes back, it's perfect. You just have to let it cool down, and it pops right out. It does pop right out. I'm just believe just believe me, it does. And I will do a picture of this when I get it out. <laughs> so we can try it again, but it is still wicked hot. Oh. I'm trying to shake it. I don't think it's going to come. We can try it one more time. Ah, oh, look at that. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> try it. Try it one more time. Oh, it, it, it's still pretty darn hot on the bottom. Praying, praying. Here we go. Yeah, open the doors. Oh, here, here are the doors. Here are the steeples. Okay, open the door and see all the people. All right, remember that from. from uh, it, it's coming, but I don't think it's going to come out. Oh nope, it, it fell in half. 
So I got it's still on this side. Not down. Only half came out, but we'll put it back. Don't worry if it falls in half and half. Look, it fall it fell apart. We only have half of it. Because we're brushing the eggs out of the see if I can get it back in. It went over one. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see. I can get it out. So yeah, things happen even with even with the pampered chefs here. Let's see, I could put one out. Let's see how that is. It the, the tomatoes didn't sit sit on the bottom there. All right, so it's still hot, really hot on that side. It's sticking from there. But we can add this right together. Add put the cheese and the other peppers right on top and it'll come right out. Oh, it's coming out. Hold on. Let's see if I can get another plate. And then we'll slide it on. I don't want it to fall out. Oh, there we go. All right, got it. All right, got it, y'all. Phew, man, that was a that was a slider. It looks prettier on the other side. All right, it's gonna taste great. Now this is where we're gonna add our top of our cheese. And remember, this egg is still pretty hot, and we're gonna add the rest of our our cheese right on top of here. And it will melt from the heat of the cheese, okay? And then we're going to add in some of those fresh veggies that we held back and make it look nice and colorful. All right. So look at that. You're like, man, she made that. It came, it broke. It broke right here. No one's going to know that it broke, okay? Except for you and me, all right? And everybody watching this. But you can fix it. There we go. All right. And this is where you make it look pretty, all right? You're going to get your peppers and put some peppers right on top. There. Strategically place them, okay? Because that's the whole thing. All right. Strategically place them. People will know what's inside because you see when we flipped it over, you can't tell what's inside of here because all of it's on the, on the bottom. Yeah. I got some purple onions. So that they know what the, that there's purple onions in there. All right. All right. All right. That's too big. Yeah. All right. Let's put that right there. You see, it all all's well that ends well. Even though it it took a while to come out, we just had to let it sit a little bit longer. But we we lost patience. But you saw the end result. Look at that. All right, so let's put some around the side. Let's get these big ones breaking apart. Okay, there. And put a couple of these nice ones there. Okay. Wow, we're looking really good here. All right, so I gotta get these other little little ones. Let me get that knife out. Slice up. I should slice up all the tomatoes. There you go. Just put a couple tomatoes in here. There. There. And one more. Switch those two around. There we go. Woo! Wow, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We still have a couple more red ones here. Again, the cheese is slightly melted on here. It's not quite all the way melted, but it's good enough. Now that's a nice cheesy one right there. Okay. All right. All right, all those are done. Look at that. Let's get a couple of these. All right, use it all up. Don't leave anything to waste. Okay. Not want not. 
and we are done. Look at this. I need this recipe. I want to make this Sunday. Terry, it's just eggs. It's it's um, whatever you have left over in your refrigerator. You don't even need the recipe, but the um, the quick cooker, you need it for um, eight minutes on a custom eight minutes and then let it um, manually release. But you need to let it uh, cool before you flip it out because there is a little little break right there. OK. This is looking really pretty up close and personal. See that? All right. So even though it broke, all right, because I was a little impatient, it's still looking great. All right. It's a really nice presentation and it is an egg. It's a frittata. It's made in a, um, the mini fluted cake pan in the quick cooker. All right. You can cook it in the oven. Uh, I forgot what the temperature is, but you can cook it in the oven or even in the air fryer. It does work in the air fryer too. Okay. Uh, let's say cheese is, is, is to eggs, just like frosting is to cakes to hide the mistakes. Exactly. Although I can still see the little crack right there, but I know it's there, but nobody else is going to know it. They're not going to come up and say, Oh, I see a crack in there or, you know, no, they're not going to do that. But I think it's, it's looking great when you slice it, it's going to look great, but I'm going to take some pictures so that I can post it. All right. I want to thank everybody for coming in. We spent a little bit of time because we had to let this cool down to get it out of the, out of the pan, y'all. All right. I'll be back here on HAPS to go to do two box openings or one package and one box opening. All right. I didn't see the first part. Oh, you go back and look. We just diced up our, our, our onions. Or, yeah, we diced, diced the uh, red onions. We have a red, orange, and green bell peppers in here. We uh, chopped up some hash browns and put them in there. And eight, uh, nine eggs we used on this one. And then the tomatoes, we put in um, uh, little cherry tomatoes in there. We sliced them in half and put the cherry tomatoes in there. So it's going to look, it's very colorful. You can add whatever you have. If you want to add sausage, if you want to add broccoli. I love broccoli in here. I forgot to bring it out. Otherwise, it, it would have been in here. All right. So I want to thank everyone for coming in. This is a really pre pretty presentation. You can, uh, and this is healthy. I mean, the only thing I have to count for is the hash browns in here and the little bit of cheese on top. All right. So thanks for coming in and I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody.